a very common discrete random variable is a categorical random variable. The categorical random variable models an experiment with k possible outcomes, which are labeled here C1 to CK, but you could really be using any kind of label you want, uh, like for example, 0 to K minus 1, or ABCD, or uh, cat, uh, dog, uh, frog, uh, whatever it is that X really represents. And each one of these labels occurs with uh, a specific probability. So the first label occurs with probability P1, the second label with probability P2, and the third label with P3, and so on and so forth. The notation we're going to use to indicate the categorical is what you see here at the bottom. We read X follows a categorical with K labels, which you can figure out by counting how many P's you have, and each one of the labels comes with a given probability. Let's take this specific categorical random variable that has three labels, and each one of the labels has a given probability, so the first label occurs with probability 0.1, the second one with probability 0.3, and the final one with probability 0.6. Of course, the probabilities must sum to 1, and they indeed do. The probability mass function of this random variable is very simple write down because it's already given to us. So the probability that x takes the first label is simply 0.1. The probability that x takes the second label is 0.3 and the probability that x takes the third label is 0.6. Now that we have the probability mass function of uh, this random variable, we can calculate arbitrarily complex probabilities. So for example, let's uh, find the probability that x is either c1 or c3. How do we write that? You can write this as follows. You can write the probability that x is c1 or x is is C3. An alternative way to write this is as the probability that X belongs to the set C1, C3. These expressions are mathematically identical. And of course, this can be decomposed as the probability that X is equal to C1 plus the probability that X is equal to C3. And the first one is 0.1, and the second one is 0.6, so the result is 0.7. Similarly, you can work out the expectation of this random variable by uh, following the formula. The expectation is the sum of x times the probability mass of x. Here, x goes over all the possible values that the random variable can take, and the possible values here are c1 times the probability of c1, which is 0.1, plus c2 times the probability of c2, which is 0.3, plus c3 times the probability of c3, which is 0.6. Of course, the only way to take this further would be if C1, C2, and C3 correspond to some um, uh, values that can actually be uh, added up. In the same way, you can calculate the variance. Again, let me remind you that to actually calculate the variance, you uh, should be using this formula. And you already have the expectation of x, so what you would have to find is the expectation of the square of x, which is this expression. And of course, you can write it down as c1 squared times 0.1 plus c2 squared times 0.3 plus c3 squared times 0.6. You already have the expectation of x, so now you can go ahead and plug in everything into the formula that gives the variance and calculate the variance.